What's going on guys? One and a foe boy here, or Zach, and today got another gameplay commentary here. I'm playing Modern Warfare 3, and um, this is one of my near Moab's uh, gameplays, so uh, I was really close to a Moab here, guys, so um, just see my mistakes here. But um, so it's not, we're not talking about this at all. Modern Warfare 3, I'll forget that game. We're talking today about Black Ops 2. Okay, yesterday, Black Ops 2 just got released, the uh, reveal trailer just got released, and... Looks pretty legit, guys. I actually like it. It looks really nice. Um, I think Black Ops 2 might be really, really futuristic. It's going to be... I think Treyarch are really getting creative with their Call of Duty ideas. So, um, I think they're making it more of a realistic or a, maybe even scientific or a science fiction uh, type of Call of Duty. Uh, you never know what, what Treyarch are up to right now. Um, Treyarch, I mean, they're a great company. But at the same time, I don't know, we, we really don't even know what they're up to. Um, you know, we just gotta wait and see uh, what Treyarch got up their sleeve on November the 13th, which is the release date of Black Ops 2, and I really wasn't expecting them to actually call it Black Ops 2. I was actually thinking that they'd call it something like, uh, you know, a different game, because i never really seen Treyarch name a Call of Duty, that uh, like their second title of a Call of Duty. So this is the first time they've made like a second title of the same name um, on their Call of Duty game. So, I mean, really, I think, Black, I mean, as a, a successor to Black Ops, uh, I really hope that the campaign really comes back uh, from the Black Ops campaign, because the Black Ops campaign was pretty intense. I liked it. Uh, I'm probably going to go play it again to play it on Veteran and get a trophies uh, for Black Ops, because I didn't get to finish it. So, uh, yeah. Um, and like I said, guys, I'm not really enjoying Mall for 3. You see, stuff like this on Mall for 3, it's like, uh, man... It's either, you know, it's either your decision making, the lag, or, you know, just stupid things like Type 95s and stuff. And, uh, you know, commando knifing and crap like that. Because even though the commando is in here, you should see the knifing in this game. God, it's so ridiculous, guys. Um, so, um, we kind of got him in a spawn trap here. I didn't want to talk about the gameplay so much, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not really enjoying this game at all. So, uh, Treyarch really uh, needs to bring something uh, big to Call of Duty. Uh, like I like I always do every year uh, for Call of Duties, I wait like maybe uh, two to three weeks uh, after the game came out to see what what ha what's going on with the uh, game because uh, we already know there's gonna be people that have already pre-ordered the game and um, are ready to get it. Um, me, I don't pre-order games for the main re fact that you know uh, it might not be something that I wanted to. But the only game, the only game I pre-ordered actually, guys, is Medal of Honor Warfighter and. Guys, I haven't played Medal of Honor in probably about three weeks. I haven't played that game in a while. Uh, I will get back to it. I really want to, uh, you know, touch to my Medal of Honor community. And, um, I really want to grow my channel off Medal of Honor as well. Because Medal of Honor is a great game. People like Krahu and this other commentator I know. He, uh, we do, they do some fantastic, uh, commentaries for Medal of Honor. And, um, I mean, yeah, Black Ops 2, guys. The campaign looked pretty legit. I, I, I feel like... It felt like a little bit of like a, you know, a Halo, science, yeah, science fiction type of a feeling, you know. That's how it felt to me. And it looks pretty cool, pretty legit. And um, I think I, I, I'll definitely get it. It looks pretty nice. Uh, but, you know, we got to see the game for itself and see how the multiplayer works. And um, I'm probably going to buy mainly for zombies because zombies is just amazing, guys. Uh, zombies, they always bring it back, um, we out here back in World at War and Black Ops, and hopefully to bring it up in Black Ops 2, because, uh, it's just an amazing game mode, and I don't really want to do, like, a speculation on the trailer or anything, because, I mean, there's probably about thousands of, uh, videos that are already speculated in Modern Warfare 3, I don't want to be another one of those guys that make a spe speculation, so, really, I'm just gonna, uh, put my hopes up, or put, put my hopes up for, uh, good stuff to be coming to that game, so, I mean, pretty much predictions... A uh, zombie is going to be pretty cool. I think zombies is going to be uh, more cooler. I hope they bring more creative guns and more creative ways to upgrade your weapons. And uh, maybe more more Easter egg, maybe longer Easter eggs to make zombies, you know, more enjoyable. Like, make it, uh, a, make it a story. Make make a zombies campaign. That would be amazing, guys. Uh, if they made a zombies campaign where you had to, you know, fight a swarm of zombies, steal da data or whatever. Uh, that would be really cool, so... Um, my expectations for this game are pretty high. I hope Black Ops 2 really dominates Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3 because Modern Warfare 3, you know, guys usually at the summertime, like um some of the commentators say, they say that you know call, that's uh when Call of Duty starts dimming down more um 
in the summertime because I mean everybody's picked up the game and now they're like you know we want to see something new now so uh, usually that's around a time where uh, the trailer for a new Call of Duty has been released and you know people are all hyped and ha all happy and ready to see the new game and um, I mean, I, I don't want to be another one of those guys, but, you know, I would be pretty hyped to uh, see, you know, a new Call of Duty just come out already. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. So, um, I mean, yeah, I'll still play Marvel for 3. Um, I'm actually uh, in the process of, of uh, getting all the trophies for it. So, pretty much I wouldn't have to play the campaign or the uh, Special Ops ever again. Because, to be honest with you, Special Ops on Marvel for 3 is trash, guys. Like, seriously survival is just a piece of crap it's not it's nothing there's nothing really cool i mean once you play it for a little bit i mean yeah it's fun but i mean it's only two people it's pretty boring um so pretty much like, you'll never see any survival gameplay even though i've put survival gameplays up on my channel before I'll, I'll never put it up and there goes my stupid decision guys i don't get how scar out kills me that fast if you go back i don't get it guys um it takes like hit markers and hit markers for me to kill somebody but up uh, well what can you do so uh, I've decided, guys, that I didn't want to make my channel too mob-oriented because it seems now it's so difficult to get mobs. It's like, man, I gotta get a mob for YouTube every time I play, and I don't really play for the fun of it. So uh, I'm gonna probably just, uh, you know, finish up my trophies on Marvel 3, uh, so I don't have to play Spec Ops and uh, Campaign ever again. So um, probably won't see Marvel 3 gameplay from here for a while. Maybe more of COD 4. Probably some Marvel Warfare. So I've never actually posted Marvel Warfare 2 uh, gameplay. It's like the only thing I upload Marvel Warfare 2 is like Spec Ops and stuff like that. So I might go back to Marvel Warfare 2 because I, I platinum that game on, on PS3. So I mean, all that stuff is pretty much more multiplayer. So I'll see if I can get Dolan and um, De uh, Ty in there and see if we can play maybe some quick scoping on uh, Search or uh, anything cool and see if I can get some good gameplay. So um, also, guys. Uh, my next montage was actually supposed to release it. Um, I was supposed to release it on uh, the end of April, but I didn't get enough clips because um, all for it was being trashed for me. So um, uh, I think I'll probably release my next montage maybe mid-May or uh, the end ending of May because um, I think I need more clips. I'm gonna work on getting more clips for the montage and then start working on some other montages. I was thinking I wanted to start a COD 4 montage. It's gonna be called Good Old Days because COD 4 was a great old days, and uh, I just want to show some amazing uh, gameplay off uh, COD 4. So, what else? What else? Um, oh yeah, Medal of Honor and stuff, guys. Um, you know, like I said, Medal of Honor Warfighter is gonna be an amazing game, guys. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great game, guys. I'm so excited. Uh, you don't even know. Um, you know, Crisis 3 is coming. You know, you got Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, you got Diablo 3, uh, I think it's near coming out, um, Halo 4, um, all these amazing games are coming out, man, I can't wait, um, you know, I'm all for 3, they could have made the experience better, I mean, Infinity War, they just don't listen to the community, I, I really don't like Infinity War anymore, um, I mean, after just looking how they just completely forgot about Marvel for 2 support, and you see how I died from bullcrap like that, just bullcrap like uh, a stealth bomber dead man's hand second chance type 95 you know all that stuff just relates to the game and see how like you know what are what are um infinity war doing to uh, fix their game i mean really um i find it pretty annoying so um what else um oh yeah i have some uh omg pop that's going to be going up on the crew channel um so uh make sure you stay tuned to the crew channel because we got we're gonna be pretty much pretty active this summer, guys. Um, and um, you know my as of my video making, guys, I haven't really uh been up to par with it, and you know I really wanna post more videos for you guys. It's just that I've been busy, and you know the school year is coming to an end, and exam I have to be focusing on my exams. Uh, so I mean, once the once uh school year is over, which is June eighth for me, guys, I am gonna be posting like crazy. Uh, so um, just stay tuned. And actually, guys, I, I totally forgot to tell you guys. Um, this was actually supposed to be a Wonder Wednesday commentary. I guess I'll just make it called the Wonder Wednesday commentary for Black Ops 2. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, my hopes and uh, wonders for the game. Uh, because one, uh, dude, like Black Ops 2, I can't, I can just really imagine what Treyarch could do with zombies. You know, they could really uh create something a great experience, guys. I'm really looking forward to the game. Um. 
Um, maybe in E3 they might show some gameplay off, so hopefully it's uh, pretty legit, pretty cool. But yeah, All right, the gameplay is over, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.